Okay, so in this video we're looking at line graphs. And just here we're going to start by doing a simple analysis. And in this problem, we're representing a situation, apparently a cup collection. So this person's collecting cups. With each month that passes, they're collecting some amount of cups. And that's what this is saying right here. Look at our x-axis. That's our time. And as the months are increasing from zero months, that's the start, this is your starting point of our experiment or whatever we're recording. Two months later, what happens? Well, at two months, what the y-axis here going up and down is the amount of cups that Wendy has. So at two months, look up and then point it out where it hits the line. Well, at two months, we're at what height? We're at 10 cups. So two months, we're at 10 cups. At four months, what's happening? Well, now we're at 20 cups. At six months, we're at 30 cups. At eight months, we're at 40 cups. So notice, as we go to the right, it's not always the case. Just because you go to the, to the right doesn't mean that everything's increasing. But here, notice the months are increasing. So as the months increase, so do the number of cups, right? So choice A says Wendy's cup collection is decreasing over time. Well, when you see over time, I guess what we're implying is that as time increases, as time is increasing, as time is increasing, increases. So basically, uh, whatever starting point we're at, months later, over time, what happens? Well, the cup collection increased, right? Didn't it? It went from two months to four months, and the cups went from 10 to 20. And this kept happening. We have this straight line. And whenever you see a straight line like this, that keeps going on and on and on, as our x values increase as we go this way, our y values are, are increasing as well, right? That's the kind of relationship we have right here. So I would choose B, which says Wendy's cup collection increasing over time, right? But what about other choices? What else do we have? Wendy's cup collection sometimes increases and sometimes decreases. Well, let's just go back over increasing and decreasing. This green line is increasing, right? As our x values increase, so do our y values. But if I did this, Something like this. All right, and this line kept going. Well, as our months are increasing, what's happening to the cup values now? Well, look, here's eight. At eight months, we're at 30 cups. But if we went back in time to about about two, right, we're above 50 cups. Right, so as we went from month two to month eight, the amount of cups decreased. That's how we'd represent A with this red line right here. Now, sometimes increasing is sometimes decreasing. It's just a mix between those two ideas. You'd see something like this, maybe. Right? So we don't really know what's going on with Wendy's cup collection. Maybe at, after this she had 10 cups, but then some time goes by and she's missing cups. Maybe they, she threw them out or whatever, and then she starts to get some more. And then when she reaches 20 cups up here, she loses more cups. Right? This is constantly varying. Um, and then D, the cup collection remains the same, the same size over time. Well, um, when, whenever that is the case, especially when time is on your x-axis here, a constant, right, it'll unchange. It'll be some kind of horizontal line. It could be up here, over here, whatever. What this means, of course, is that it doesn't matter how many months pass. When you look up at this line, it's always going to be at the same height, at 30 cups. So that's, that's the case in D, and a horizontal line does mean that, right? There's no change in the rate over time. All right, hope that helped.